Hello, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. That is a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I have pre-painted with mead and black paint. It is now dry. I just did my first interference over black colors with um, great results. Ribbon pours after. Turned out really well. I'm a Color Art affiliate, and there's a 15% off Color Art coupon code below the video. I definitely recommend grabbing some of the interferences. I'm going to start by adding my background. I'm going to do Mother of Pearl with whatever will come out. It doesn't need to be a lot, so long as I catch it before it dries. This is an interference red. no rhyme or reason. This is Interference Gold. I'm going to save that. I'm going to use it in a minute. This is Interference Blue. And they are amazing when you shimmer a light on them. And Violet. Interference Violet. I'm using probably too much. But I'm having a good time doing it anyway. I've got leftover paints over here in a container and in a minute we're going to get into them. Add some more, freshen it up a little bit. I don't think I need a lot, but I know I need some. This is the Interference Gold. Okay, that We'll find out. We'll find out if that's overkill or not. I've got an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I'm going to start and go out. Go up. Go over. Back in. Scrape and smear. I love the, the blue is amazing. It looks like gray and then it shimmers so beautifully. Now I could leave some lines, but I decided I wasn't going to this time, but I will another time. I don't know what they'll look like. I still have some black negative space and I want to show this to you right now. If you can see that, hopefully, I don't know. I can't wait, I gotta make up some green. I don't have any green right handy. So here are my colors. Let's just put that right there for right now. It's not going anywhere. Here are my colors. I don't really want any of that mud. So I'll take it out. Put my little Princeton Art Little Catalyst spatula in the bucket. Think about what I want in here and I want some more pink. In this case, it's the primary element, ginger flower. Sends the paint chips trying to get the top open. And maybe some of the orange pe peel with gold sparkle. That's another primary element. We need some of the Mayan gold. I don't think I used it any in, in any of the last piece. And I did use the cerulean blue, which is an awesome color. And a maybe a little bit more. You know what? I didn't use any of this blue velvet, but I'd like to see what it looks like. It's about the same depth of shade that the uh, cerulean blue is. This is Wild Orchid. This is a prism pour. I feel like I'm missing something. I think it's going to be... I had some very hot Miami magenta in there. I think I'm going to use the pink diamond instead. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the Orange Crush. The Orange Crush... 
I was going to say something, I'm not going to. You know what I am missing? I'm missing red, and I have a really nice new red called crab apple. It's a primary element. Now what I did in my last piece was put down a ribbon of black with a shovel so that my colors would spread. And I guess I'm going to do it again. Don't need nearly as much. Let's just do some more right in the shovel. Now I didn't use the same shovel last time for my colors, but I think I want to this time. And I've got a little bit of this Chantilly lace with a bunch of cerulean blue, and it's a really nice blue. So I think I'm going to use that. Now I don't think we're going to see any of the black. At least I don't think so. Come on. <laughs> I got stuck. So I've got some more colors. I probably should have done that in two goes. I wanted to catch it before it got any gloppier. Grab another Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Part of me wants to swipe, and I could. I'm just not sure why I would. But I am going to tip. And I'm going to put that pan of colors right into the trough. Let's just do this. I'm not sure I'm not going to swipe. I have some black, Amsterdam black and Aussie flow troll, and I have some Amsterdam white somewhere. Looks like there's enough left there. And I have some gold. And I might want to spread that out a little bit more first. I should have waggled it more, dribbled wider sort of thing. But that's okay, because experiments are good and we're going to do one. Make sure that's open, and that's open, and that's open. That's not open. I'm going to get the black open. Give me a moment. Probably should have just used a different black. I have a bunch of little bottles with trial blacks. Oh, that one went through. Perfect. I wonder what the interference on top... No, I don't think so. I was going to think what was the in interference on top of a cell activator going to be like, but... I'm going to go... I'm going to start with the gold. And then go to the black. Probably have more than I should have on my little acetate tool.
Okay. I don't see any cells, but that doesn't mean they're not coming. I could probably release some with a straw, maybe. I know they're in there. So next swipe will not be that way. I'm going to wipe that right off. We're going to try the black and the white. The white first this time. Maybe some gold in between. A lot less cell activator than last time. Those may still develop. They do, they do surprise you. I kind of want the rest of that, although it probably won't stay. I'm going to throw that in the bucket because I've got more if I need them. All right, so that's kind of cool. Maybe a smaller one, smaller tool there. Oh, I need a medium size. I got a couple, a couple medium size. So that was the white. And the gold. And a dot of black that I don't see any evidence of, but still I'm sure it's not going to hurt anything to do it again. Throw a few tendrils out here and there. Last time I did one of these, it turned out looking a lot like a bug or a monster. I thought I was going to post it for Halloween, and I didn't. I still want more of the white, of the gold. So I'm going to risk it. Let's give it a little bit of a tip. I kind of want to spin it. I don't know what would happen. You know what? I'm going to spin it. Just because I don't know what's going to happen. And it's, it's cool, but it's not, you know, as cool as I really want it to be. But I think I am going to go in one more time before I spin. If the paint were a little deeper, I would maybe take a chance on scooping and dragging, but I really don't think that that's an option. Throw a few spirals in just for good measure because I can. Okay, I'm going to spin because I can. I know the background's going to be beautiful. Do I want to add any colors in the meantime? <laughs> Always second guessing myself. That's Brighten it up a little bit. And let's blow them out first. Did I leave a straw handy or do I need a new one? kind 
of neat. I mean, there's stuff going on in there for sure. All right, it's time to spin, just because. Do I want to put any other paint in there? Leave it to me to use up all my time. I've got three minutes. Give it a little spin, or a lot my swipe tool. If I forget to put the acetate tool video underneath the video, whoops, <laughs> please ask me. That was clever. Never done that before. Found my missing straw. Let's get this thing moving. some of that paint right down there. I like the ginger flower a lot. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything and I think it might actually help. Add a few spirals here and there. A few more spirals here and there. Yeah. I'm liking the spirals. All right. Well, I'm not sure what it is, but it's kind of cool and the only thing I'm thinking is that I want some gold in there. It should be really cool if it will actually come out. And blow it into place. Tell you guys I love you. Remind you I posted 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. most days. You can find my playlists on my channel by going to playlists, all playlists, created playlists, or you can ask me because I've got them saved by topic and genre and by the hundred. The same as they are there. I'm liking this more and more as I play with it. Like I said, I really don't know what it is, but I'll be gone and before you know it. And we still won't know what it is. Come on out. It's time to make some new. All right, I got one minute left. Tell you guys, shop my link tree. My website is there. The gallerist is there, Clothing Made in Montreal. I have a whole bunch of new gorgeous designs there. I just can't get enough of this ginger flower. I got a big bubble up there. I should probably have tried to shimmer this at you, but as far as I'm concerned, the, um, the light behind me over here is going to keep me from showing you guys how beautiful this is. But maybe. Maybe you can see some of those. Okay. 